My name is Garai Verdi. I'm a chartered professional accountant serving clients located throughout the GTA in Ontario, Canada. Today's topic is going to focus on first time consultants and independent contractors who were previously full time employed but have switched over either to a sole proprietorship or an incorporated company. I constantly encounter many new clients who are totally new to these arrangements and have no clue about how to get the process started correctly. Here's a quick three-step overview that will help you get started in the right direction. Step one, discuss incorporation. You need to speak with a tax accountant to determine if based on your expected net income, it's worth for you to spend the money to incorporate a company to help minimize your taxes. Be sure to address the following important points to the incorporator while getting incorporated. Have custom share clauses and share classes added to your articles of incorporation to maximize the ability to income split with your spouse and adult children. You should also consider whether incorporating a federal or provincial corporation is more suitable for you based on your circumstance. You can watch the video I've made covering this topic in depth. Step 2. The Basic Internal Controls Using the correct basic internal controls for your new company from the get-go will save you a lot of headaches later on. Consider the following key points. Open a separate company bank account. Apply for a corporate credit card to build credit history. Register for HST. Speak with your tax accountant about the quick method of HST. You can watch our video that covers this topic in depth. Use bookkeeping software to prepare your invoices and track expenses. Avoid using Excel sheets altogether. Maintain company records and receipts to support an audit. Step three, be sure the tax plan. Make sure you take some time in the beginning to actually meet with a tax accountant to prepare a tax plan that will help maximize your deductions and minimize your overall taxes, both corporate and personal. Some of the key items you should be sure to cover are the following. Should you take a salary or dividend from the company? Should you lease a car or buy a company car? The tax-free car allowance for mileage driven for business purposes with your personal vehicle. Work in home office expenses if you work remotely from home. Health benefits. The personal ser service business tax rules. Annual due dates and deadlines. And finally, the year-end requirements. If you found this video helpful, please leave us a comment and like this video. Don't forget to click subscribe to receive more weekly tax tip videos. You can visit our website at birdie.ca to learn more about our services, which include incorporation and tax planning. Thanks for watching.